Hello, this is Rainbow Rising Freedom. Welcome to my YouTube channel. The channel messages of the day are the blue dragonfly and the powerful royal transformation. There's so many uh, difficult truths coming to the surface that it can be really overwhelming and scary. Um, I'm not saying we're supposed to deny these truths, but it's really uh, advice at the moment to step into the mode of the creator as you are. Realizing the power of your words might make you a little bit more careful about like what you say, even as a joke, because like I recently read, a skeptic will also manifest. I had a really strange situation yesterday when right after, like the day after uh, mentioning um, um, racism and not actually knowing what um, what it means until you uh, until we experience it firsthand, I feel like I kind of called in that experience because the day after um, I had a situation when um, I was like told to go back to my country and so on. And I started asking the spirit, why did this happen? Did I call in that experience? And sometimes just by pronouncing it, using your words, you might call in an experience that you don't actually want. It might happen just because we are shedding so many layers of trauma and we are becoming so purified that we really are closer and closer um, to the source. Our connection is cleaner. And it also means that with that power comes great responsibility. You know that saying, with great power comes great responsibility? It means that um, even as a joke, we might not want to say anything that we don't want to see in our reality. When I asked the question about my uh, experience and whether I called it in or not, I heard unplugging from the matrix. So that can be another reason I feel like we are unplugging from the control mode. We are unplugging from um, that mind control system and we might be chased even more through like by agents of the matrix through other people. These are often traumatized, hurt people who um, hold space for these energies because of their unhealed trauma. So. I would advise like not to take it personally, even though <laughs> for me it was really difficult yesterday. I was kind of like trembling and um, trying to have compassion while standing up for myself at the same time. Know that you can always call for support. That's another thing. Um, many of us are actually heroes uh, because of what we went through, but it doesn't mean that we can't call for help. We are not used to calling for help, right? We are used to um, dealing with everything by ourselves, but you have already done the impossible. And it's okay to ask your tribe for help, to receive support. So if you send your intention, uh, asking for your tribe to appear, asking for help, I assure you that it will come right away. Someone will message you, you will get an email and you, re you will realize, hey, source is putting that person in my path so that I can ask them for help. You might have to ask them. And that can be another challenge. To dissolve your pride and ask for help. It's okay, you've done so much already. Realizing that we all need one another. I've been also feeling um, joint energy joint energy in a sense that it's very beneficial for us to network to be with those that we resonate with that are our, our soul tribe and any kind of gathering energy work it really amplifies our energy okay so um, knowing that we're here to here to heal the world um, Let's cultivate these relationships. Let's reach out 
let's um, strengthen these bonds and um, not forget one another you know like especially when we travel when we relocate it's just so easy for these beautiful connections to dissolve but we need to consciously work on them okay reach out say hello make a phone call sometimes a text is not enough you need to hear someone someone's voice um, I feel the energy of gratification for someone like uh, maybe you've been waiting for something for a long time it might finally come in because you've dissolved so much and also um, Egyptian Egyptian power basically guiding some of us um, leaving these um, right omens showing us the way I feel there's for some of us there might be a choice of at least two realities I've been shown um, which reality will you choose and there was 50 50 so there was a choice between um, at least two uh, wonderful timelines and um, color blue might be significant it's a regal color color of ancient royal bloodline uh, you might resonate with that um, you might also find that um, you awaken gifts of other people. So just by doing energy on yourself and placing yourself somewhere, um, other people will have their gifts awakened just by your presence. Even those who don't deliberately do any energy work. Um, the spirit might be calling you, like literally like placing you around the globe just so you can absorb uh, ancient energies. So trust that. Um, I know that within the matrix, but we're unplugging now, but um, you might be questioning yourself or others might be questioning you. And sometimes we fall in that uh, pit hole of uh, thinking, hmm, where is the logic here? Um, why do I do this or that? But if you're called, uh, your soul is calling for you to connect with some energies at certain locations. There is a reason for that. And you will only know once you take that, that leap, once you get there. Okay. So this is important for your energetic integration, integration for your energy body so that you can be of service even more because the more whole you are, the more you connect with uh, the power of your other timelines, the more you embody it here, the more you can bring in and the more you can help. Um, so that's what I've got. And there's an energy of the blue dragonfly. Um, and um, this is a very big dragonfly that I just saw um, a while ago by the river. And that uh, signifies a transformation. So someone might be um, finally finding that courage uh, to do something they've been thinking of. And for many of us, actually uh, trying to think uh, creates obstacles and blocks us. So as much as we have been slowed down for a reason recently some of us uh, to heal aspects to tap into that energetic key which is childhood heal your childhood heal your childhood triggers the more you dare to do that is i know it's really hard and sometimes painful and we don't want to do that we just want to go and enjoy life but uh, purging that pain healing that childhood pain strengthens our foundation and the net for the next chapter so we are all preparing to jump into that next timeline higher timeline that will be um, oh I hear pure bliss so that's amazing pure bliss and oh <laughs> the greatest love of all so I really hope this happens to you, for you, and remember that actually you created. So, there to use your power for the highest good of all.